Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about our relief project. So briefly we talked about um, Greek history and all of their different relief sculptures, but we are going to create our own with cardboard. So for this example, you can see that I have just a base background, so I painted this. Then if I tilt it, you can kind of see the different layers. So this is poking up off the top, so it's a relief up off the top of our base cardboard. So I have these tucked underneath, so this is my first layer. These are the uh, um, kind of like the little tops of the pineapple. So that's one layer. Two layers is right here. Three, four, five, and these little triangles up on top of the pineapple is six. You guys are only required to do five layers, but I just wanted to show this to you guys in as an example. Another example that I have down here is the strawberry. So again, I have a base layer. One, two, three, four, five layers. That's the bare minimum that I'm going to be asking of you. So what I need you guys to do today is you guys are going to be handed a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper. You guys are going to start sketching out your ideas. But when you guys are sketching out your ideas, one, you just have to have like the general, like I did my pineapple, I had that big huge oval. That would be my base layer. So this is how my base layer is going to look on my cardboard. I'm going to actually be doing a Luna Moth, and it looks like it's a little bit dark and blurry, but you can kind of see it. So here's his head, here's his wings. This is just a really quick sketch so that I can tell kind of what I'm doing. Here's his bottom wings. This, I'm going to create all these different chunks of cardboard, and I'm going to lay them out flat as my first layer for my relief sculpture. If you guys want to do this next step on separate pages or you know anything else that if you need that just let me know and I'll grab you some more paper but I did them small up top you can do the same thing if you'd like to as well so with this one because I want the wings and the head to look like it's popping up and popping up out you and just the little tips of this down here I decided that I'm gonna do one layer that's a little bit bigger so it's probably about this much I'm gonna be cutting another shape for my second layer and I'll glue that on top that'll be for the tops of the wings I also want these to pop out, so I'm doing another layer up here to make these look taller. And then I'm also going to do the tips of the wings. So this is this down here. So I need to cut out all those for my second layer. For my third, again, I make it just a little bit smaller so they look like they're stacked up on top of each other. This is my third layer for the sections that I need. And I'll draw those out on my cardboard later. Here's my fourth layer. Little ears. And then the tips of the wings. And then last, I'm going to have the... Uh, his little antenna is popping out the furthest and that'll be my fifth layer so remember i need five layers so that's five drawings and five chunks later on i will be handing you guys some cardboard and so what i would start doing is drawing out the wings so your base cardboard is going to be this size we don't draw on it so i might draw a big huge x on it just so i know don't cut the sucker and you'll put your name on the back I'll also be handing you guys just extra chunks of cardboard. These are the ones that you're going to draw on and cut from to glue onto your base cardboard. So because I know how big this is, I'm going to start doing my wings. Let's do it this way so I can keep the top ones attached and do the bottom ones separate. It's better if you guys go to the edges of your cardboard instead of going right into the center because it's really difficult to cut. You make it so much harder on yourself if you get further in. So here's my top wings trying to keep them symmetrical and you guys can draw whatever you want on your project just as long as it's cool appropriate so there's my bottom ones I'm gonna do my bottom set of wings probably over here so I need to make them um, this wide and I'm just drawing this base layer come out and have those little finials The only other thing that I need once I have all these drawn out is the antennas and his little body. So this is my first layer that I will glue down. Probably just going to do the head, yeah, head and body. There we go. So I have all my chunks that I need. This is my first layer. Now I'm going to keep looking at my wings right here. And then I'm going to draw them slightly smaller. So remember, we're starting in that second layer. You can glance at it right up here. 
just make them a little bit smaller so that they fit up on top. So if I'm going to do this one, probably about three-fourths. And it also helps if, like, if you cut out your first layer and then you lay this over top of your second layer of cardboard and then trace and then just make it a little bit smaller. It makes it a lot easier on you. I'm going to try to do it off my hands. Hopefully I can do it okay. Use this piece. Um, so it's this big. And draw out that chunk. Oops, I don't curve down enough. That's why I said it's so much easier if you just do it. Without tracing. So that's one piece. You do it for the other side. Try to keep it symmetrical. Then I also wanted the antenna. So I'm going to do the antenna just a little bit smaller. So I got those right there. They're that big. I'm just making a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, and a little bit skinnier. Attach them together. And the bottoms of the wings. So that's my last little plan right there. I'm going to draw it. I'm going to do them probably like this. That way they look like they're flicking out, popping about at us. So that'll be my second layer. And I'll keep doing this and then cutting them off. Drawing my next layer, making it a little bit smaller, and I keep doing that until I get all of my layers glued together. And I'm going to show you guys my examples again. So I have that base layer. So they laid this bottom one out, and then they traced it, and then they made it a little bit smaller for the second layer of their strawberry. Then they laid out this one, they traced it, and then made it a little bit smaller for this third layer, and then the fourth. Okay? They didn't have to do it for this one just because they didn't want this one to pop out, so it's just one layer of cardboard. But you can add extra layers if you wanted to. So I added two layers on my pineapple. You can do that as well if you would like. So I just need five different layers, and I'll give you guys scissors later. But our major goal today is just to get that drawn out, and then I will help you guys as you guys start doing your cardboard layers. If you have any other questions or need any other help, I would be glad to help you guys out. Thank you for watching.